everybody. Today I'm back again to make my homemade curry puff to share with all of you. And these are all the ingredients that I'm going to use for my curry puff. First of all, we will season our chicken with uh, curry powder. You can use alagapa, you can use uh, whatever brand you want as long as it's dagina. Uh, there's two brands I remember. La. So you put curry powder and then you add in a little bit of soy sauce. And if you want to have a little bit of sweetness, you can put sugar. If you don't want, then never mind. Then you put a touch of uh, this dark soy sauce. And you stir everything up. You season it for a few minutes. Around 10 minutes or so. It doesn't matter how long you, you want to season. Just season it and then leave it aside. Then you can start to Soften your this uh, potato by steaming it or by putting into the microwave. Now we'll start the cooking. We we'll add a little bit of oil into your pan, around two to three tablespoon. Don't don't let it be too oily. Then you fry your onion. You put your onion in and fry. Fry until your onion is softened and fragrant. Let it cook for a while. Put a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt to get the taste of the saltiness. Continue to stir to make sure that everything combined together, the salt is evenly mixed up. Onion is softened, we can just pour in the chicken. Now, as you can see, the, the onion is, is going to be softened, going to be softened already. You pour in your uh, seasoning, uh, the chicken that you have seasoned last time, you just pour it in and, and then you don't waste the, the, the bowl. Uh, you can mix water a bit and then put it into the pan and continue. And let it uh, fry low. and you can put in curry leaves so that the fragrance will be very nice. Now. Uh, normally, you don't put too much, if not, you'll be bitter. You know? One or two leaves should be okay. And you continue to stir until everything is well mixed. And uh, the chicken is will be uh, uh, must be cooked. You can either add in coconut milk or milk. For me, I add in milk, around 50 ml. You can add coconut milk around uh, 50 cents, or, but now there's no 50 cents. Uh, you buy one dollar and then you use half will do. You don't add too much liquid because I don't want it to be watery. I want it to be thick so that when you wrap the, the curry puff, it will be easier for you. Continue to let it cook.
you don't one shot add all the coconut milk or the milk you you add slowly bit by bit so that so that you will know that you, you, you don't have to add too much and make it too watery and you can taste the taste whether it's enough of saltiness and sweetness add a little bit of soy sauce instead of salt If it's still not uh, saltish enough, you can still add salt because I don't add one shot a lot, I add bit by bit. Because if you add little bit, not enough, you can still add, but if you add a lot, then oh, it will be difficult for you, it will be too saltish. Everything is well mixed and uh, the chicken is uh, not partially cooked. Now we can add in your yeah, uh, boiled potato. The potato I already put in the microwave to soften it. If you don't have a microwave, you can either steam it or cook it. To soften it, uh, first uh, it's easier for you to cook uh, at this moment. So you mix the potato and the chicken so that everything will be mixed together. If it's too dry, you can add a little bit of water. Because you want the potato to be soft, then it, it will taste nice. If the potato is hard, then the curry puff won't, won't, won't be nice. a little bit of sugar so that it will be sweet a little bit not too much if not you'll be too sweet the, the, the sweetness and the saltiness must be balanced this is the outcome the finish um, finish uh, work of my product now are uh, my my potato and chicken curry now I'm going to make the pastry so you put around 500 grams of flour to and then you put around one tablespoon of sesame seed half teaspoon of salt and uh, one tablespoon of sugar one to two tablespoon up to you no but not too sweet nah. then you you stir everything to make sure that everything well combined everything you stir everything well combined before you, you do the next step next you add the softened butter I use butter I don't use margarine I don't use cooking oil so butter, the taste will be more better lah, huh? uh, It will be more fragrant because it's butter. Butter is better for our health too lah. 
some people they use cooking oil or they use margarine and all that but I use pure butter then you use your hand to make sure that the butter and the flour will become breadcrumbs yeah it become breadcrumbs make sure that everything mix the flour and the butter when everything is well mixed and you can see you see the flour is so nice everything well mixed together it's just like a um, uh, bread crumbs and uh, bread crumbs. To make sure that your hands are clean, your nails are clean because this one you use a lot of hand, you know, so you must make sure everything is clean. If you feel that your sesame oil is not enough, you can add in a little bit more, you know. Uh, then when you fry, uh, it will be very nice, very fragrant. This one is optional. You want to put also can. You don't want to put also can. Nah. After everything is mixed well, you open a small hole, you pour a little bit of water. This water is around 200 ml. 210, nah, 210 ml for 500 gram flour. Then you slowly, you know, you, 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 you see, you can see from the video how I mix it slowly. You, you add in the water in the middle then you, you take the flour and then fold it in fold it in until you get a dough until everything don't stick to the to the to the container it comes out to be a dough not too soft and not too not too soft and not too hard uh, you must you, you just look at the video you know, know the texture because if too soft you cannot roll too hard also cannot roll so it, it must just 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 nice That's why I say hands must be clean because we use a lot of hands here. So we must make sure that your hand is clean before you start doing uh, the pastry. Now you can see that everything comes together into a dough. So you continue to do this uh, uh, Chinese say noir lah. Just rub, rub, rub. Mm. At this time, it's a little bit difficult, uh, but you have to do it also. Uh. Use your, your, your this knuckle to, to, to squeeze it, your palm to squeeze it. Uh. So that the butter, the water, the flour, everything can mix together into one. If you don't do this this method, then part of it will be salty, part of it will, will, will be sweet. No, it, won't, it won't taste nice afterwards. So if you feel that it's a bit too dry, just add a little bit of water. Don't add too much. Just bit by bit. This is the dough that, that you need. After that, you wrap it in the plastic and let it rest for around 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes will be okay. Just let it rest. While it rests, you start to do the cleaning first. Okay. After after 15 minutes or 20 minutes, now we are going to make our curry puff. So you take a portion of it and you just wrap it. Wrap it and now, and then you use a rolling pin to roll it. You can see from the video, this is how I make my curry puff. You must roll it thin into thin, thin piece so that now you won't eat. And you, the skin so thick, not nice. It must be thin. If it's too thick, not nice. And the filling must be a lot. Uh, if outside you can buy the filling, uh, 
they very kamsiap one uh. they give you little bit only not nice one uh, my feeling is a lot one mm. my meat and my potato same amount then you press it you make sure that you press it everything okay uh, then you take the scissors you trim the side yeah because I don't want the thick skin uh, I don't want the skin to be too thick then you pinch it and then you make a flower and you fold the side and this one sometimes uh, not everybody will know how to do if you don't know how to do you can just take a fork and then and then just press the side or some of them they have the, the mold uh, they will use the mold uh, but I don't have the mold so I, I use it everything manually I do it manually uh. I enjoy doing doing it making uh, making curry puff is like paying a pasusin so now I will put the oil and make sure that the oil is hot before you put in the curry puff piece by piece inside yeah. you don't put too many pieces at one time around four to five pieces you can see that my oil I don't really put until above my curry puff because I don't want to deep fat fry deep fat fry will be very oily so I make sure that the oil is enough enough to, to, to cover my curry puff that's it so that after that when the curry puff comes up it will not be oily uh, many of my friends have tasted my curry puff and they say that oh it's not oily no doubt I deep fat fry I sold quite a lot to my friends, you not know, the order, so I sold quite a lot. So you slowly make sure that no, you don't uh, be too too rough lah. You must slowly lah, so that you don't break the curry curry puff. You know, uh, you slowly make sure that you know keep on turning up and down, up and down. You don't let it just uh, just let it fry one side. Then after that, one side will be very dark, and then the other side before it's dark, one side is already dark, and then it won't be nice and it won't cook properly. So you must make sure that both side comes up brown, both sides evenly and uh, they evenly brown uh. this takes some time to cook uh, you must have patience uh. you must have the joy doing this doing cooking you must have the joy uh. I always feel happy doing my cooking uh. Use love to cook, and only your, your food come up will, will taste nice. When it's almost going to be brown, you lower down your heat, lower down to medium. Because if whole way you put high, then it will be brown faster. And then inside it won't be cooked. Uh, so when you know that it's slightly going to be brown, then you lower down your heat and let it slowly cook until it's brown. Then it's fully cooked. Uh, at this time, the curry puff is very beautiful, so you take it out slowly bit by uh, piece by piece we take it out we don't rush so that you, you won't break the, the curry puff you know because when it comes out it's a bit crispy now even after a few hours if it's not crispy you can just put into your uh, fryer or oven to heat it up you can even keep it next day you can heat it up it's still very nice so this one is my complete process of my curry puff
uh, thank you for watching my video and subscribing to my channel. You can get the recipe in the description below. Thank you so much. Bye. See you in my next video.